welcome to Moore's Virtual So Fun Club. We are so glad to have you join us again. And this month is all about applique. We've got a bunch of stuff to show you. And I wanna go over first off some of the current news that we have here with Moore's. If you haven't already heard, Moore's is celebrating their 70th anniversary. Isn't that amazing? Um, this wonderful company has been around for 70 years. And with that, you can get discounts up to 70% off. So you're gonna wanna come on in, check out our stores. Um, we've been having the promotion and we will currently have it for another couple weeks. So come down, check us out and see what we have to offer for our amazing 70 year anniversary sale. So let's get back to some other news. If you haven't been in the stores recently, you'll know that we've opened up our classrooms again for classes. And each location, you'll have to call your current location and see what's available and what's being offered. But that started up again. Isn't that great? I know that I had um, moseyed on to the Braille location a couple weeks ago, and it was so exciting to see people in the store taking the class. So I was so excited and I know um, all my customers that have been harassing me, when are we gonna have classes again? They're coming, so check on your current location, um, one of our five, either Temecula, Corona, Huntington Beach, Mission Viejo, or Brea. And um, check with the manager or on their calendar that you can always access at moors-so.com and you can see what classes are being offered. So let's get on to applique. Now applique is one of my favorite things and the first thing that we're going to talk about this month is our favorite thing for me which is show and tell. Now show and tell is one of those things that we've always offered at So Fun Club back in the day when we had So Fun Club at all the stores and um, the people would come, they'd bring in their item that they wanted to share, and we're continuing that virtually with the virtual SoFun Club. So we've got a special prize, and the way that it's working is that um, at the end of the video, you can click on the link and add a picture of what you want to show and tell so that everyone can see, and then we're gonna pull a prize. Now, it's a great prize. Um, if you want to come on closer, it's a $499 value in its Floriani box. Lots of fun stuff in here. If you look real close, we've got several CDs and DVDs um, for, this one is the thread converter that we have here. And then we also have threads. There we go, so we have the thread converter. And we've got two different ones that have designs. So isn't that cool? As well as some of our threads that we have here. And we've got even a specialty variegated thread in the kit. So this is the prize that we have for this month for our So Fun Club show and tell. And like I said, we'll be drawing that name and it will be announced later on our website. So I always wanna show you, get things started, I brought one of my favorite appliques that I did, and this is just simple. Um, it's simple shapes. I made flowers. I did do some um, different types of quilting on it. I did some um, echo quilting with my free motion quilt. I also did hand embroidery on this. So it's a little bit um, of everything. It's very funky. Um, there was no pattern, I just kind of cut things out and put them together and it currently hangs on my wall in my room. So just a fun little thing to get show and tell off and running for this month for our virtual So Fun Club. The first product that I wanna talk about is one of my favorites and I use it all the time at home. It's called Free Fuse by Quilter Select. And this product, when we first got it, it just changed the way I prep my quilts for when I'm finished with them. Now, I first started doing the double bent safety pins to kind of clip everything together before I did my 
actual quilting. And then I was using spray adhesives, but now I use free fuse. And let me show you how easy it is to fuse your quilt sandwich when you're going to use it. First thing you want to do though, when you get this container is you're going to want to take off the cap here and you're going to take out the bag and put the free fuse into the container here. It's got like a little salt and pepper shaker top. You'll go ahead and replace that back and then you're good to go. I know when I got mine, I forgot and I kept trying to shake it and nothing was coming out. So you've got to take that cap off and actually put it's a bag like this. You're going to actually pour the free fuse into the container. So you're going to take it off and I just got this super huge quilt here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some of the free fuse and if you come closer, you'll see all I'm doing is giving a nice little shake and that will shake the crystals, the free fuse powder onto your item. Use your iron. I like to use a medium to hot setting and you go ahead, just press it on. I'm going to turn it over. I'm gonna... Okay, so now we're on the back side, and once again, I'm just adding some sprinkles. And if you want to come in closer, I'm going to sprinkle some on my hands so that you can see. It's a super fine little powder. Let me put those on there. And the great thing is that you can actually kind of push them around wherever you want them to go. And that's wonderful if you're doing applique, if you only want it in a super small area. So I'm gonna put the other fabric on top and go ahead and give it a press. Now this free fuse, I'm telling you, it just really changes the way that I do my quilt sandwiching. Now if you're doing a large quilt, you're gonna just use a little bit of sprinkles here and there, but the great thing is using this free fuse on smaller quilts. Now the regular price on this is $19.99 but we have it on sale for $15.99. Isn't that wonderful? So you'll see everything's nicely fused together. And now you can do your actual quilt sandwiches, whatever you'd like to do, either straight line quilting or free motion, or even if you pay by check and send it out to have someone else do your actual quilting. You're ready to go. And once again, this is free fuse, but Here's a great thing also, we have a refill. So the refill, you would use the same container, but the refill, the regular price is $14.99, but we have it on sale for $11.99. So you can utilize the container that you came with it originally, and now you have the refill. Isn't that wonderful? So this is our free fuse by Quilter Select. So the next thing that I have to show for you tonight is I want to show you exactly how you're supposed to use duck bill scissors. Now, everyone looks at these and they think, what the heck are those for? They've got this big blade. If you want to come on in closer, you'll see that they have a nice big blade and then they have a regular blade and they use the same way you would snip on a regular scissor. But this blade has a very special purpose and it's used for applique. So I have here just a really basic um, applique of a bird. And what most people would do if you're right-handed, you're not supposed to throw your scissors, but if you're right-handed, you would dive in and start cutting with the regular blade towards the design and that is not the way you're supposed to use duckbill scissors this blade here should be closest and on top of the applique so you're going to want to reverse the way you cut so i'm going to pull it this way and then just cut and with that it protects the image that you've gone ahead and stitched and it also secures those stitches so that you're not going to cut into them. Now I'm gonna have them come in close so that you can see how close that cutting is. It really changes the way you do your applique cutting. This bill is super important. Like I said, you don't wanna cut 
um, on the other side because that blade isn't protecting your applique. But you want to cut on the reverse side. And once again, I'm going to hold this blade up. You're going to cut on the reverse side so that the duck bill actually is on top of your applique fabric. So that's how you use these wonderful applique duck bill scissors. Now wait, what if you have a really, really tiny applique and it's hard to get in those little nooks and crannies? We have the answer for you. We have the micro duck bill scissors. And just like the large ones, I threw them too. They work exactly the same way. So this bill that we have here on the bottom, you're going to want to have on the same side. If we bring it in close, you can see as I'm cutting, it cuts just like butter. And once again, we have a really fine cutout to our applique. And that's the wonderful benefits to both of these wonderful scissors that we have here. They are the duck bill scissors, and we have both of them here for you today. We have the applique ones, which are regular $19.99, and we have on sale for you for $14.99. And we have the micro ones for all those nooks and crannies, and they are normally $19.99, and we have them on sale for $13.99. So you're going to want to pick those up. Either one, the duck bill scissors. They're awesome and they're really going to make it easier every time you do machine applique and you need to get around those corners. Next, I want to show you Floriani's Wonder Applique Sheets. Okay, so applique wonder sheets. That's what this package is here. And it does come in a roll, but I want to show you the benefits of the sheets. Now these sheets are amazing. Not only can they go through your printer, so if you have a design that you want to make applique on, you can run it through your printer, that design, it'll print it out. And that way you can already have it on here. You don't have to trace. But I'm going to show you a little bit later how you can trace with this with a light box that we have. It's just a sneak peek kind of thing. Don't worry about it. I'll show you in a minute. So with that, I made this shirt and what I did was I used the applique wonder and I went ahead and made several patches on my shirt here. You'll see. And I have one here. Now the great thing about applique wonder is that I just went and hooped it. I went ahead and did my design. I added fabric on it and it makes like a patch but the wonderful thing about it if you're like me i love rough edge designs so with this it's going to have once you put it on and you simply just heat up your iron and stick it on i'm not going to do that right now could be dangerous but with the rest of these all i did was print them up i stitched them out you release this pack Peel it off here. Let me show you. And if you want to come in closer, you can kind of see it has this area that you pull off. If I can get my fingers to work correctly. There we go. And that exposes the adhesive. And then you would pull that off, position it wherever you want on whatever you're doing. If you're doing a shirt, if you're doing a quilt, um, or if you're having it actually on um, your pants, wherever you want to put this. And the great thing about these applique wonder sheets is it makes it so that you can do some really detailed stitching and then place it in places that are really hard to hoop. So if you have a jacket that you want something up top by the shoulder like I have here, if you have a collar, you could actually do something and attach it to that collar and it's super easy. So once again, all I did was release the backing after I've stitched it out, placed it on my shirt, and ironed it down. It's that easy. I love applique wonder sheets. And if you leave the fabric, you can actually make a rough edge design. Isn't that cool? So applique wonder sheets, they normally are priced $38.49, and we have them on sale for $27.49. Great deal, and you're gonna to wanna to pick this up 
and start making some interesting designs to put on a shirt or anywhere else that it's difficult to get that item hooped um, and you can place your stitching on there. As simple as that. Next, we're gonna talk about Floriani's Pressin Bond Thread. And that was really cool. I can't wait to show you what you can do with that. Okay, our next item is Floriani's Press and Bond Thread. And I tell you, this thing, when we first got it, um, and I had to come up with a sample, I had to do some research. I had never used it before. But I am absolutely in love with it and all the things you can do with it. Um, first off, it's a thread that has adhesive attached. Let me, let me restate that. It has adhesive attached to the thread. So what I did was I put it in my bobbin and I did my embroidery and I made some patches. Super easy. You can see on the back where all that thread is. And now all I have to do is simply press these onto a piece of fabric and you've made a patch. Super fast, super easy. I simply did some designs, stitched them out, and cut around. And now you can take this Floriani press and bond thread and make patches or applique that you can press onto wherever you want to put it. So just like the Wonder Sheets, this is a perfect item where there's hard to stitch areas. Think about it. You can make a cute little patch and add it onto some canvas shoes. You could put it on a backpack. It just really changes things up. But wait, here's another great thing. You can hem your pants with this. Put it in your serger and do your stitching and then simply run your iron and it's hemmed. Um, you can put it in your regular sewing machine in the bottom. You can put it in your embroidery machine. You can stitch with it on the top. Um, it, just, it just really opens up so many options for anything that you need to have an adhesive on, it's already in the thread. Isn't that cool? And it's something, I hate to say, I wasn't aware of. So I love it. Floriani's Press and Bond Thread. Normal price is $21.99, but this month we have it on sale for $15.49. You're gonna wanna pick it up. And there's so many things that you can do with it. So once again, I'm gonna show your patches. I just simply stitched out some patches on the back. You'll see where that is, the thread I had in the bobbin of my embroidery machine there, and then all I have to do is press it on. And you're gonna wanna make sure that your iron is warm to hot, and you're gonna wanna make sure that you only apply pressure in one area. You don't wanna do you know, that squishing around with your iron, just straight up and down. Once you're done securing it on the front, you're gonna to wanna, to, if you can, turn it over and also press on the back to make sure that it's completely adhered. I love it. So once again, Floriani's Press and Bond Thread. Now we're gonna talk about the wafer light top boxes. Okay, so these wafer light boxes. Now, just turn mine on. Um, just to show you, you can, actually turn them off and on like this, but if you hold them down, it will gradually get brighter and brighter and brighter. So you have complete control how bright your light table is. Now this is beneficial if you're working in um, at, during the night or at, during the day or depending upon your eye, eyesight. So it's really great that we have this and it's completely customizable. So once again, I'm holding that down and it gets brighter and brighter and brighter. I love that. Now, one of the great things about applique is having a light table. And I have been doing applique for years and I had an old basic light box that I use. The problem with the old basic light boxes is the top of that box would heat up from the light in there and eventually the adhesive or whatever you were using would start to stick to the light box. With the wafers, you don't have that problem. These do not heat up at all. They're L LED lighted. They're 3 eighths of an inch thick. 
so they're super, super thin. It's just the opposite. Um, my old light box was huge and it was cumbersome. This thing is super thin and they're completely durable. I'm not gonna throw this one around, but it will take abuse. So they're great. They've got some measurements on the top and also the side. Now, what can you do with a light box? Well, the first thing, because we're talking about applique this time, is I wanna show you how you can take a simple design. This is just something that I drew out and um, we're gonna add our wonderful applique wonder sheets and I'm gonna place it on top and look at that. You can completely see the image through and that's the value in a light box. So for years, people have been using light boxes for tracing. And that's the same thing that we're going to do here for our applique. So with our sheet here, I'm gonna go to one area and I'm simply gonna trace the different elements that I need. So we've got one little ear patch. I've got another ear patch. I'm not gonna do them all because I've already done them and I already actually have them cut out. But you simply trace around your images and it's that simple. Now, one of the great things about it is we also have a mat. So you can put the mat on top of your design. And if you wanted to, you can use an X-Acto knife and actually cut out those shapes directly. Isn't that great? Um, my old light box did not have a mat. So having a mat with grid lines really makes it easier and um, it makes it better. You can do foundation paper piecing with it. There's lots of stuff you can do with this light box. This is just the applique portion of it. They're wonderful. And I tell you, I use mine all the time. Now they come in three sizes, but we're talking about the medium size here tonight. And once again, the wafer two is the medium size and regular price is $2.75, but we have it on special for $169.99. Isn't that great? So if you um, have been doing applique the old fashioned way, um, when I first started, I would put up my paper on the window and I'd be tracing around just like I did when I was in kindergarten probably, but this is a game changer. And like I said, super durable, they're super practical, they don't take up much room and they're gonna be around forever um, and they're gonna be your best friend when it comes to applique. And if you've done any of those really detailed applique patterns, this is just gonna make it so much easier for you because you can do a large section at a time. Um, whereas a small light box, you had to keep repositioning. The larger you have of the light box, it just makes it easier for applique. So once again, using our applique wonder sheets and our light box, we're gonna go over there and I'm gonna show you how to finish up this box. So if you wanna follow me, okay. So I went ahead and I just did a little simple quilt sandwich and I've added a bottom and I'm gonna go ahead and piece together. I've went ahead and re-cut out all of my pieces for my little fox. And I'm gonna position him on here. He's got a little tail that comes off to the side. And this is how easy it is to make a design come to life. He's got little feet. We've got some ear patches for the hair. Another paw and his nose. And if you come in close, you can see all I would do next is simply remove the paper backing of the wonder sheets and press it down. And you're going to want to go straight up and down with the iron. So with this one, I have one to show that is completely finished. And this is just the little fox but I went ahead and completely ironed them down and did some stitching around. Super fast, super easy, and with that light box, it's a game changer. It makes it so much easier to do your applique. And there's a super special, I've got a secret, 
If you want to come in closer, I'll share. We have a special. And for the light boxes, we have 15% off of all the different products. So you're going to want to check that out. Don't forget, any of the daylight products, 15% off with our special coupon. You're going to want to use it. Next, we're going to talk about some metallic sheets for applique. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about our metallic sheets for tissueing for applique. Now they're actually a Mylar product and we've got four different colors here. We have orange, a pink, we have a purple, and like a blue. Awesome colors, very bright and vivid. Now normally um, each of these are sold separately, but we've got special, we've got this package deal and together they're normally $27.96, but we have them on sale for $14.99 for all four, isn't that cool? So I have gone ahead and I've made a sample of what you can do with these Mylar sheets. And I've gone ahead and stitched out some frogs. And in the base of all these frogs, I have each individual color of our Mylar. So I kind of have them. You can see that this one has purple. And if you get really close, you can see the sparkle of the frogs. Maybe if I hold them up just a little bit, you'll be able to see that they kind of shimmer and shine. And that's the wonder and the beauty of the Mylar metallic sheets. So each of the frogs that I did here, I did on my machine embroidery, but I added underneath the stitching these Mylar sheets. Cut them out just like applique, and the machine of course does the rest, but isn't that cool? And we have this special set of the Mylar metallic sheets. And once again, let me show you the colors that we have here. So when I first got Mylar, it was like just an iridescent. But think of all the different things you can do with different metallics. Um, balloons. I mean, simple applique to more designed appliques that are very detailed. These Mylar sheets are really going to jazz up your embroidery. So once again, you're going to want to check them out and pick them up for that sale price of $14.99. Next, I'm going to talk about, oh, let me think. I think it's the Clover Mini Iron. Okay, so we have another super special here, and it is our Clover Mini Iron. And this is exactly what it sounds like. If you look at that, do you see? It's just a super mini iron. And with this, we have this one turned on takes about 10 minutes to heat up but it's got two settings on here we have high and low and it is either 140 for low or 220 on the high setting so it gets pretty hot now one of the things that I think is really cool about these mini irons not only can you get into very small nooks and crannies and be really precise where you're actually ironing but one of the great things that I think you can do is you can use it to smooth out your binding. Now when I get done with the quilt, the first thing that I do is I throw it in the washing machine because I like it when it crinkles and it gets that look of a worn quilt, but I don't want my binding to look like it's worn. So if you take this, you can actually smooth out your binding and make sure that your binding's nice and flat but that way you can still have the rest of the quilt have that crinkle old-fashioned look. So once again, it's really easy, fun to use. Um, you can use it for multiple things. Um, lots of people will use it when they're adhering vinyl onto items. Um, but that paddle that you see, it's really small and precise. So you can get into some really small areas and do some ironing. It's just one of those things as a crafter, you're going to find lots of different things that you can use with this particular iron. So once again, this is the Clover Mini Iron, super lightweight. It comes with this wonderful little stand here. And you can see if you put it down here, if you want to come in close, you can see that stand and how wonderful it is to hold up that packaging so that you can keep the iron away. And when you're not using it, it's still going to be safe because this iron here 
and the actual head will heat up and they get really hot. So you wanna make sure that at all times you don't touch it um, because it will burn you. Now this is a really cool tool. Um, it's one of those things that you're gonna find lots of usages for. And like I said, it's normal price, $24.99. We have it on sale for $15.99. You're gonna find so many different usages for it, but just the fact that it can get into those small little areas and you can iron precisely exactly where you wanna go, it's well worth the investment. You're gonna love it. So the Clover Mini Iron on special this month. Okay. So now I wanna show you something really cool. So this is just a quilt that I put together and it's applique and it's got some really funky, funky birds on them. I think they're owls, I'm not sure. I just drew them and, and put them together. But what I wanna do is add a little bling to them. So I've got these Swarovski crystal sets and I've got a setter. Now, if you haven't seen these used before, you're gonna to wanna to get in real close and see. And I'm gonna show you exactly how fast and simple it is to really add some bling and sparkle to anything that you can create. You can do just jazz up a basic t-shirt. You can embellish your quilt. You can add it to um, machine embroidery. The possibilities are completely endless. It's like one of those things, remember a long time ago, there was the bedazzler? This is the same thing, but better. It's Swarovski crystals. So we've got a special on this and I'm gonna talk about it in a minute, but first I wanna bring you in and I'm gonna show you how fun this tool is. So basically it takes two batteries and you've got this nice tool. The tip of it will get very, very hot. So once it's on, you do not wanna to touch that tip. But right now it's safe. It does have a light so you can tell when it's on. And I always like to make sure that this is screwed in nice and tight so that that's not wiggly. So it's a pretty basic tool that we have here. But once I press this button, you'll see that that red light comes on. And of course that means don't touch the edge because unlike that Clover mini tool that takes about 10 minutes to get up to the proper heat, this one gets hot super fast. And the last thing you wanna do is burn yourself. I've done it, you don't wanna do it. Don't try it, it doesn't feel good. So I'm gonna take some of these crystals and I'm gonna embellish on this heart that I have here. And these crystals are custom made with adhesive to the back. So I'm gonna just kinda place some of them on here. And the great thing about the Swarovski crystals is they come in lots of sizes, lots of colors. Um, there are so many out there and we've got a bunch of specialty ones in our kit here today. So I've kind of turned some of them over. I'm going to simply press this button here and put that flat head on top of the crystal. And I hold it down for a couple seconds. I wish I knew the exact amount. We're gonna go with about 10 seconds. Lift up and that is adhesed now to my quilt. Super simple, how cool was that? So I'm gonna go ahead and continue adding more. And if you wanna come in close, you can see just how easy it is up close. And just like that, let me hold it up so you can see. I'm gonna put the cap on. Super important when you're done, you're gonna to wanna to put the cap on because that tip is gonna stay hot for a little bit of time. So with that said, let me show you how we blinged up the heart. And you can zoom in. Now I've done it on all four of them. So you can see it just adds some bling, some sparkle and some shine. Think of all the different things that you can do with these Swarovski crystals. And with this special tool that we have here today, where did I put, here we go. So we have the special set here. We've got six different packages of Swarovski crystals. And we've got, um, this one has different shapes. So they're kind of like diamond shapes. We've got um, a baguette and 
I can't really tell, but there's a bunch of fun shapes in there too. And we've got some Halloween colors. We have the 4th of July. It's a great set of different sizes. And that along with the Hot Fix Rhinestone Setter, normally this would be $96.69 for our regular price, but we have it on special for $57.99. $57.99. You get this great tool and six different packages of Swarovski crystals. And um, like I said, you're going to find lots of things that you can bling it on up and add special um, little touches to with your heat set tool and your Swarovski crystals. And with that said, let's go back and we're going to talk real quick about So Fun Club. So, I hope you enjoyed this month's So Fun Club virtually. And next month, I've got some great stuff. Um, it's gonna be a Kimberbell month and I brought in blanks and things that are gonna be so much fun for you to do machine embroidery, but I'm also twisting it up and I'm gonna show you how to do regular projects with them as well. So just a little teaser about next month. You're not gonna wanna miss it. As usual, we thank you for joining us once again for Moore's Virtual So Fun Club. It's been my pleasure to have you come and join me here today. And from all of us at Moore's Sewing Centers, thank you for joining us and have a great evening and we'll see you soon.